What's up guys, my name is Adam and the HomePod Mini has a ton of awesome features. But today, I'm gonna show you five hidden features that will completely change the way that you use your HomePod. And these features work with the Mac Daddy HomePod and the Mini HomePod Mini. So starting with feature number one is Siri shortcuts. With the HomePod and the HomePod Mini, you can run these shortcuts that are on your iPhone or iPad, which allows you to control non-HomeKit compatible devices with Siri, but only if those devices support Siri shortcuts. So for example, I have these Tekken smart plugs. I love these smart plugs, but they do not work with HomeKit, but they do work with Siri shortcuts. So I am now able to tell Siri to turn my smart plugs on or off straight from the HomePod, which is really awesome. My GoV light strip does not support Siri shortcuts. So I would have to get some kind of home bridge like Hoobs in order to control that light strip with Siri. Now just keep in mind that your phone has to be turned on in order for Siri to be able to know what shortcut to run. If your phone is not on, then she will make the sound. Christmas trees on. Sorry, I'm still having problems with the connection. Because Siri is talking to your phone to see what shortcut to run, and if your phone is dead, then she doesn't know what to do. Since the HomePods have multi-user support, this allows for different shortcuts to run based on whoever is talking. So for example, I can say, fan on. That's done, Adam. But if my wife says the exact same thing, then it won't do anything, and because it's trying to read a shortcut that is not on her phone. Fan on. Sorry, I wasn't able to find anything like that in your Bradley's home this time. So this feature kind of has its pros and its cons, so just keep that in mind. If you have an Apple TV, then you can actually use your HomePod to control the playback on your Apple TV. This will only work if you have an Apple TV 4th gen, so the HD or the 4K model. So you can say things like, pause, play, You can also skip or go back X number of seconds. Go back five seconds. Go forward 30 seconds. Now, unfortunately, it cannot play a specific show. So if I try to say, play The Office on Bedroom Apple TV. Now playing The Office, theme from TV series, EP, by The Office Band on the Bedroom. Wait, what? No, that's not right. I wanted to play this show and not listen to the theme song. Come on, Siri. If you are constantly losing your iPhone like I am, then this next feature is for you. So most people know that you can use your HomePod to find your devices like your iPhone or your iPad. And this is great. I actually use this feature a lot because I am always losing my phone. So now I can just say, find my phone. Looking for Adam's iPhone 12 mini. But wait, it gets even better. Did you know that you can also find your other family members' devices? So if you have family sharing set up, then you can also ping your other family members' iPhones or iPads. But keep in mind that you will have to say the name of the device in the Find My app and not the name of the person in your contacts. In my contacts, my wife's name is Wifey. So if I try to say, find my wife's phone. Looking for Adam's iPhone 12 mini. It's nearby. Wait, what? Meaning Adam's that, iPhone no, 12 no, mini no. now. That's the, that's the wrong phone. Find Sarah's phone. Looking for Sarah's iPhone 12. It's nearby. You can use your HomePod to automate your daily tasks. You can use NFC tags to have Siri change the lights to a certain color and play a certain playlist depending on the time of day. So if it's before 8 a.m., then you can have your colors be a warm white and play some pretty chill vibes. But let's say during the day after 8 a.m., you can have your lights automatically be a cool white and play some pop music to get you going for the day. If you wanna see how to set up this automation with NFC tags, then click my video right here or it'll be right here. Another super helpful automation that you can do with your HomePod, you can have Siri be a certain volume at a certain time so she is loud or quiet at the appropriate times. So let's say it's late at night or early in the morning and your family is asleep, but you wanna ask Siri a question. Well, if her volume was previously set to very loud, then she will respond at a very loud volume and you are gonna be having to rush to try to turn Siri down so you do not wake up your family members. But don't worry, I, I got your back. Let me show you how to fix this. You do this by using the time of day automation. So you choose your time, select your HomePod, tap audio, 
choose adjust volume only, then adjust the slider to whatever volume you want her to be, then tap test and ask her a question and see if she's too loud or too quiet or just right. You will have to create multiple automations like this if you want her to be different volumes at different times of the day. The fifth and final hidden feature is that you can change the Siri response tone. Let's say that you are far from your HomePod and you try to ask her a question. What's 15 plus 85? And you cannot see the little wet waveforms at the top of the HomePod LED screen, so you're not sure if she actually heard you or not. Well, if you turn on the Siri response tone, she will respond with a bong tone. That way you know that she is hearing you and so you can go ahead and ask her. What's 15 plus 85? Let me know your favorite features down in the comments section down below or on my Twitter, Adams Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next one.